back, bitches. What's up? It's Pod Fiction. It's Mike and Brendan. That's right. Whoa, whoa, burp, burp, burp. Today we're going to play some Mario Kart up in your face. So bring it to your nose and sniff it in, you hose. Push B. Tasty. Two player game, obviously. Duh. Uh, Mario Kart GP. Fuck the Grand Prix. I think Martrace Mar- is just you and me. Chia. This is the, this is how we can pick the fucking babies from the bitches. Um, which one am I? You're two. Okay. I'm gonna be fucking Bowsy. I'm gonna be DK Junior. Push We're picking uh, up push, some, push B. We're picking up some big ass motherfuckers. So Michael, what, what do you know about Mario Kart for the SNES? What I know about it was that the first Mario Kart for the SNES. Ooh. Yeah. Didn't would think you, I was gonna come here with facts loaded. Would you believe you? it is the only Mario Kart for the NES? I would actually challenge you to just tell you that Shaq Fu made something similar. You know there's a remake, right? I know. I was actually what, looking at it the other day. It's like fucking 20 bucks. So I know. Fuck that. And there's no t- the trailer won't work on Xbox for some reason. Really? I watched it. It looks actually pretty dope. I watched like the gameplay. Really? Fuck off! Two things you need to know about Brendan and Mario Kart. We go hand in hand. Okay, how the fuck do you turn around? You, why, you're the wrong way? You're not yeah. the wrong way. The little guy comes and tells you if you go the wrong way. That guy just came and told you to go the wrong way. No, no, I'm going the right way. Thank you. Marty? Mario. <laughs> Marty! <laughs> Marty McMario. Marty McMichael. That, I'd watch that movie. What do you think would be the best way to do, like... If you were to do Back to the Future today, what would you change? Um, the DeLorean, I would change it to a fucking super awesome car. Like a Ferrari? Yeah, and then the actors would be me and Brendan. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Would we, uh, we'd feature in this? What the fuck did that dog open the door? If there's ghosts in the house. It did, it's the wind. It's windy outside. No, it's not the wind, it's ghosts. Michael, Michael, it's ghosts. Michael, I lapped you. <laughs> I know, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Lappies. The cool thing, Michael, uh, fun fact, it, I don't know if you guys are noticing a difference. How much he just drives in the dirt, too? I don't really need to drive anymore, I'm winning. Oh, pass chicken. <laughs> pass chicken. <laughs> Here, I'll let you pass me. Thanks for letting me pass. Oh, sorry. Hit you with the green shell. With that big bitch. Oh, I won. That I, I was fast. New high, new high score. What does that mean? Did I break it? <laughs> um, I don't okay. know if you if you noticed the uh, the difference in audio quality. We're rocking two mics now, which means that when Kiro comes busting in the room, you won't hear him click clacking. Click clacking, sucking on. We're gonna go to Bowser's Castle. Let's do that. What do you think? Cool. Want to do Bowser's Castle? Cool, cool, cool. Michael, what do you think of this game? This game's awesome. This game defined a genre this of game. This game looks like shit, and I hate all the fucking fanboys. Fun fact: I think this it, game is fucking good. They made it in your image, Michael. How's that make you feel? Fuck, then they obviously did a bad job on it, and I fucking really wish that their mothers would have Oh, if you this. hit the little black boys, you get, uh... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh coin. <laughs> you hit the, the black boys, Chris Brown will make a song about it. But Chris Brown hits black girls. <laughs> That's true, he does. What do you think is the most violent thing you've ever done in your life? Beat up a woman. You beat up a woman? No, I didn't. Michael... The most violent thing is probably, oh. um... When I yelled at that cashier for being a cashier. When? When? Who, what cashier did you yell at? I didn't. I'm making a lot of stuff up. It's really. I'm trying to re-envision myself. I'm trying to reinvent myself. So you're rebranding I, like, Michael Incorporated. Exactly. I want to be the. I want to be the Kobe Covington of podcasts. What can we see co- going forward in the new era of Michael? Um, probably a lot of cursing. Okay. Unless my mom's tuning in, then okay. I'm not gonna curse as much. Hey mom. Hey mom. Um. And probably not dying. If I do Woo! die, it's going to be like, this Uh-oh. game's bullshit, it's made by a bunch of bums that eat shit. So, yeah. Did you notice that your character, like, has a really slow startup? Like, when you, once you, like, hit something? Because I'm pretty sure that the heavy characters... Ooh, I passed you. Thank you. I don't need you. Was I in the lead? Yeah, you are winning. <laughs> Look at that. I slowed down to let you pass, but you weren't, you weren't taking advantage of it. Eh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Tomato, to bottle. I actually really don't like this Mario Kart that much. No, it's really fucking bulky. Like, it's hard to turn. They've fixed it a lot in the in the, uh, the years that have passed. That's why we play, like, a lot of Mario games, but I really never played the Nintendo a lot. Really? Nah. What, uh... I was not a Nintendo kid. I was a PlayStation kid. Did you kind of only... Like, I was an outdoors guy. I was always outside. I never really played video games until later in my life. Really? Yeah. I'm quite the opposite. I, never I had think my friends. first system was a PlayStation 1. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't really remember ever having, like... No, I had a Sega Genesis, actually. Really? I did have a Sega Genesis, yeah. I used to play the Power Rangers game on them. That's fucking cool. I may have had an N64. Holy shit, that was a boost. Dude, oh, gross. Do you not remember if you had N64? I feel like I that d- honestly, wasn't, that, wasn't that fun if you wouldn't, didn't remember it? I just remember going to this old store by my house, and, um, and it used to be, like, you could rent video games, and you could rent consoles... 
and all that crazy shit. You can rent controllers. It was so cool. And so I just remember going there and grab like there's a bin and they had like the uh, and that SNES just, just like, games or um, Nintendo 64 games. Sorry. Okay. And you and you remember like getting you, those? Yeah, I remember like I don't know. If, I don't really remember if I got them. I was so fucking young, dude. I'm talking about, like six years old. But it was cool. I, was that Hilltop Video? It was actually next to Hilltop Video. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There, there used to be a thing here in Sudbury. It was called Matlin Games. I don't remember that. Really? Yeah. It, that's where, where I used to I've rent. I've heard you talk about it before. Yeah, I used to rent uh, a lot of my games from there when I was younger. Um, I used to really enjoy renting games because it used to make you almost like... Uh, beat Try that. to beat it in a time yeah. period. Yeah. You literally had four days to beat that game. And I, f- I think like even back then, I remember I was renting um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker... And I, you can't beat that game in four days. <laughs> That's a double rental for sure. But the thing is, one, if it's a popular game and they only have limited copies, when you go in to get the game, uh, and you're like, when you bring it back, you can't like re-rent it. You have to like wait. To, you have to go like back in line to rent it. Which, what? Yeah, yeah. So back then they only would buy like two copies yeah, or something. Yeah, two like or that. three copies of a game. So then you would like want to rent it, and it's like there's three people ahead of you, so you have to wait literally like two weeks to get it back. That's crazy. Yeah, they also had this thing where they, like, at the time it was GameCube, PS2, and, and X, like, the original Xbox, and they had these booths where, like, if you wanted, you could, like, sample the game first. Like, you could, like, that you'd, like, you'd pay, like, two or three bucks, and they'd put it in, and you'd just play it for a bit. Um, and that was really, I found a lot of really cool games that way that, I, like, I ended up buying, because they went out of business, because obviously, why wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, the renting market is shit for, like, literally anything. But I remember they went out of business and they were selling all of their games at like really, really low prices. And I still have a bunch of their games. And sometimes, even here in Sudbury, you'll buy a game off someone like a yard sale or something. And they'll have the sticker on it. Yeah, yeah. They, they you'll be like, ah, oh, I remember that time. They used to write on their things MTLD, except for like Matlin Games Limited or some <laughs> shit. So I found a few of them, even in like like hawk shops and shit, come across them. All right, push That's that start true. button. We'll play against other people. Go to go to end. And then we'll like we'll race we'll race it. we'll add some. So this came up, came up before I was even born, dude. 92? This kid, Yeah, probably me too. Probably didn't come out in December of 92. <laughs> and if it... Well, it could have. Christmas year. Chris, Christmas year. Christmas year. Imagine if there was like a whole Chocolate year. Chocolate rain. I drove my car into the wrong lane. Chocolate rain. Are you going to be Bowser again? No, fuck Bowser. They're going to be Koopies. They're going to be Mario. Mario's the best. Push A, push, push a baby boy. Pushing it, baby. Have you been, have you been playing any uh, games recently? Like, any, like, games at all? No. Not really, actually. I think after you came back from Mexico, you've been kind of, like, game quiet, right? Because you had beat Far Cry before leaving? No, I beat uh, God of War before leaving. Oh, yeah! So I was kind of just like, eh. That's a pretty big game to beat, too. Like, once you beat it, you're kind of like... Yeah, you kind of want to take a break a little bit. Yeah. But also, there's nothing I'm really looking forward to. I see, like, E3 was the other day. Yeah. People are like, oh, did you watch it? I'm like, no, I don't have fucking cable. And if it was on the internet, I wouldn't watch it either. Uh, well, the cool thing is, like, a lot of I find a lot of YouTubers they cover it, so you get like, uh, you just watch watch what they go through. You watch like one thing, and then yeah. you kind of get a good gist of it. There's some pretty cool shit coming out. Um, I was like The Last of Us two, but I still haven't beaten The Last of Us one, and it hasn't even wowed me. Last of so Us like, is a really mm-hmm. hard game to soak in if you're not into that kind of game. True. If like I was telling Michael before, Last of Us is a lot more fun your second playthrough, but the problem is on your second playthrough, you know what's going to happen. True. It's not a surprise anymore, right? Yeah. You just get to enjoy it a little bit more. It's nice. It's 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 not a long game. I didn't think, um, and it's very segmented, which I, I I don't like on a lot of games. Um, but it, it it is a lot of fun if you're looking for like that game like won awards like tons of fucking I know. awards and shit. What fucking the f- Walking Dead changed goddamn world. <laughs> Everybody's talking about zombies. Zombies. <laughs> fucking zombies. Zombies. I mean, I'm kind of glad that like phase of zombies is gone. Like, yeah. people still, like, talk about zombies and shit, but, like... But it's, it's not, not as like, big as it was when, like, Walking Dead was fuck. really big. It was so right? saturated like, for a whole... Like, that it was, like, vampires and zombies. It was just, like, one after the other. Yeah, let's get werewolves. Let's get Ooh. werewolves back on this. Did you finish second? My dude. dude. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm only second to you, brother. Oh, yeah. Look at her little faces in the top. Like... <laughs> and Yoshi finished fifth. He's all sad as shit. Fuck this. <laughs> I don't need this shit. Uh, you, Wow. Look, dude. You finished, like, a second behind me. I did. I, I, I kind of like this game. <laughs> I was talking shit about it earlier. I kind of like this game. It's kind of fun. It's a good game. It's, oh, it's neat. Man. Once you get like the controls down, it's actually like pretty fun to play. So is your... I'm she she is. That. No, I'm yeah, not, yeah, not going to like there. that, eh? You want to wrangle up some sick game puss? <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, I didn't He's puffing. He's puffing. <laughs> You're just the autistic we take photo ops with. <laughs> Fuck. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, eighth place. Rick and uh, I'm in seventh. <laughs> Rick and Morty was greenlit for 72 episodes. What do you think of that, Michael? I saw that. Good for them. They deserve I, it. I think it was funny how they're like, "There's no more Rick and Morty." It's like, are you fucked? Like you're kidding me, right? Like you know this show's. Fu and then it's like, Dan Harmon's like, "Dude, we haven't even been like greenlit for anything yet." So like. <laughs> It's like are you, you're you're the hottest fucking cartoon on TV yeah. right now. No, yeah, we're done. This fucking it's the sucks. dirt. It's the dirt, right? <laughs> it's so hard to drive through this shit. I'm right behind you. My whole goal is just to finish seventh in front of you. You fucking cutie pie. Dude, it keeps pushing me off the fucking. I know, road. me too. I don't know how they're. I think they're a drift. I think there's there's a drifting element here. Oh, there is oh, the L and R buttons. If you boop them when you're going, you can kind of like little drifty boys. Also, I fucked it up hard. And hit a I hit a nanner. Hit a nanner. I hit a nanner, little dude. I don't know what the coins mean. What do the coins do? Michael, tell me. Michael, tell me. That's me. I'm, I'm next to you. I'm next to you. Next to... Michael, tell tell everyone the story of what happened today. That you went home? No, the a poncho story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell them the story. You went home. That happens every day, Michael. Tell yeah. them the cool part. <laughs> um... Me and Brendan, Brendan and me were walking home, and it was raining, neither of us had umbrellas, so we went to the dollar store to get umbrellas, and so when we went and got umbrellas, Brendan was like, let's get ponchos instead. <laughs> she, stop hitting me. I'm sorry. And so we went and fucked! <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got these ponchos, this bright yellow ponchos, and looked super fancy. Bougie. 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 Bad and bougie. Bad and bougie. <laughs> Oh, 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 fuck down to the wire. You, you thought you snaked Dude, it. Point two seconds. You thought you'd snake it in. I it. thought I did. You thought you'd. Oh, we. Oh. Oh, we don't. Uh, we just do it again. We just got kicked out. Fuck. What Dang. do you want to do? One more round. You want to do one more? We're eating some quiz. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, fuck. Kiro, don't fuck around with my shit right now. That's sad. That's That's sad. That's sad. Man, fuck. Yes, yeah, so we wore ponchos on the way home. It looked awesome. We're, we're starting a movie company called Poncho Bros. Poncho Bros. It's oh, that'd be a sick Assassin's Guild. Poncho Bros. Poncho Bros. Check this out. I missed. <laughs> I threw a green shell at you. That was rude. I threw a green shell in any general direction. You just have to be standing there. Um, You're getting hit. I got fucking. I got smucky. You're done in this town. You'll never direct again. Huh. <sighs> What if someone tried to end your career by breaking your legs? Would you be what, happy? What career? I sit at a desk. I'm God fine. God damn it! I was like fucking fourth. I was gonna be the next Jose Canseco's. I'm Jose Canseco. So I think one of us just has to finish fourth or higher. That's the how we get to move to the next race of people. <laughs> we get to be Abe Sapien. It's a race war, Gene. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, we're not pickles. getting to fourth. That's when they're all dressed as pickles, eh? I think so. A race and a war. Come on, Jambo Lambin. I mean, you got a better shot than I do, but I keep riding the fucking dirt. I don't have. Dr I can't drift. I don't understand how to drift. Fuck! It keeps just sticking me in the fucking dirt. It pisses me off. I wish I get the star. The star would be like super helpful. All right, man, you got this. Fucking rank up. Nut up. I also picked the hardest cup. I'm so sorry. Fuck! I'm You're good. You're not done. Oh shit! You found a little secret though. Secretsies. Top secrets. <laughs> Top secrets. The secret didn't really help me that much. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm still in eighth. I'm in DK, finish first. Just, Fuck. Just finish. You got this. I'm gonna finish in seventh for you, Michael. I'm fourth! That's right, buddy. That's right. Little Marmy's happy. Woohoo! Got sevensies. Nice. Tickle me, Elmo. I fucking ranked out, though, hard. I hope we don't both have to finish above four. <laughs> oh, you got ranked out! Yeah, I think I'm still good to keep racing, I hope. My time to shine. Koopa Troopa. Gotta take a big old poopa. You know those people that say Bowser? What? As opposed to Bowser? Makes sense, actually. It kind of looks like it's in Bowser. Yeah, you freaking Bowser. Well, it's not an A. Because Bow would be B A W, right? Bow? No. No, B O W is Bow. Bo bow. Is it wrote, written the same? Though? I think so. B O W. Bow. Hmm. Yeah. That's weird. The bow of a boat. It's B O U. B A U. Bow. That makes sense. See, a ba ba. Yeah, it's English, not, English is boat. weird. Oh, not an ice fucking level. I was actually kind of stoked to finish that on the last fucking race, but I guess we'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on. A, I'm not winning on a high right now. Yeah. 
No. Do, uh, there was an actually an episode I was watching of uh, of Pod Fiction. They're fucking lame. But um, we're like, Losers. I, I, I want to finish on a high because we had just won, and then immediately we like died or something right after. I just went into a fucking pit of acid. Boiling acid. Boiling acid. Also, imagine if our asses were called asses. Uh, acids. They are called asses. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> imagine if your ass was called an ass. Ha! Joke was on you. It is called an ass. What do you think the most graphic word is for your ass? Sphincter. Sphincter. I think it's more comical than Shrinter. graphic. Um, shitter. Maybe fuck vacuum. Fuck vacuum. I meant to say fart vacuum. <laughs> fuck vacuum works. I will take fuck vacuum for 400, Alex. Mm, I'd like you to leave for 200. Fuck. I don't know what the little jumpy boy means. I don't like this. I don't like the jumpy boys. I love the jumpy boys. What uh, What's your place right now? Are you sixth? One behind I'm in you. the poods. Oh, you're out of the tourney for Blurney. <sighs> Is this only two laps or three laps? I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna. Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna win. Fuck, uh, Michael, you the, you're our only hope. Obi Wan. OBA! Oh, <laughs> even. Wagon. <laughs> yeah, I finished in eighth, man. Oh, uh, dude, that's two that you fucking came. For quite last. All right, dude. That's fine because you're like in second for a good chunk of this. Yeah, time. I, w I was. I ranked out again. All right, did I call it or do no, you no, no? We're gonna do the last last track. Might as well. We're Michael's on a high. What do you? What, what, what's your place? I still have more points than you because I finished first once. That's so funny. <laughs> but we're three and four, which means we're gonna get at least bronze. Oh fuck! Oh, we're good at this one. This is the one we started with. So we already got a leg up. We practiced on this track. That's right. We smoke in lots of crack. What, I guess that's a dumb question. I was going to say, what drug would you never try? Like, what is the last drug you would ever try? Before, like, the b behind everything else. Like, you'd be like, if I had to rank drugs of wood and wouldn't, what would be the one that you never would do? Oh, fuck. There's so many I just wouldn't do. <laughs> is cocaine one of them? I would, no, I would never do cocaine. I think, like, out of all the drugs, like, it's bad, but it's not the worst you could do, right? Like, I think, like, meth and crack are kind of, like, way worse than coke. Yeah, definitely. It's still addictive, but, like, not as... Yeah. Fucking life ruining as fucking crack. Because there's people who are functioning cocaine addicts. I think so. Okay, like top of the list, obviously, like, okay, weed's cool. You can do weed. I'd probably, Oxycontin, I'd, I would never even want to touch because I know how it, like, fucks up your whole life. Yeah. But yeah. Drugs are bad. I'm good. I'm good. Kids, we're not telling you, dude. Drugs, we're just saying drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Um, I think, uh, I think for me, like, the, the actual worst drug that I would probably never touch would be, like, meth. I don't think I'd ever do meth. Fuck, I'm fuck. I've seen enough before and after pictures to know that that's not a, a devil I want to be tangoing with. Tangoing cashing. I'm pretty sure that fucking... Were you ever put on Ritalin? No, never. Well, it has, like, the same fucking makeup as, like, I'm pretty sure meth. Really? Yeah. Meth was legal at one point. It's crazy. They used to sell it as, like, a like a histamine. It's just sell it. They used Great. to put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Yeah. So. I miss those days. That's an actual fact. I'm legitimately dude. stuck behind two fucking rocks in a hard place. I'm getting dude, I'm last. I'm dead last right now. We're ranking out, dude. Sorry, I'm try I tried to hold us a floaties, but I couldn't. Fuck every time. There's something in my way. I'm not making it. Every time I turn, I'm stuck. So, <sighs> fuck me, right? We should start with the easy trackies. Yeah. My shell just died. I just fell in the water. Boiling acid. Um. <sighs> oh, so where's the last place on earth you'd want to go? Uh, probably Russia. Really? Russia scares me. Russia's freaky, man. There's like they're crazy as fucking Russia. So you'd rather go to North Korea than Russia? I don't know. They might like me. Maybe they like Dennis Rodman. So <laughs> that is really weird. Actually, they're so fond of Dennis Rodman. They love America. It's weird. I wonder what they're whipping up. <laughs> Missiles. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew. Yeah, I'm in mean, six. You still you're still eight boys. Yeah, still eight boys. I'm yeah. far from everybody else. I'm getting lapped at this. Well, point. if that ain't the fucking pinnacle of what pod fiction's all about, folks, we fucking ranked, ranked out. Left, right, right. And fucking. Don't go south. to Russia or North Korea anytime soon. That's a Michael and Brendan guarantee. Also, uh, what's it called right now? Africa. You can't even travel there right now because there's a whole war breaking out. Really? Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Well, it's not that bad. It's just like sticks and twigs, right? So. No, they got it. They got assault rifles. <laughs> and guess who sold them to them? This guy. This guy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Play some Mario Kart. Don't play some Mario Kart. Fucking who Do cares? Do whatever you want. Bye. Bye.